right, it's time again for the auction included. It's just, uh, whoops. <laughs> right, go into the game with the resume game option here. Click. Good. Takes my input. That is nice. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, this will not age well. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm go only going to be right uh, about uh, two or three days in the year with that Christmas greeting. But anyways, um, this is all on the highest difficulty settings. We don't have any care packages. And uh, we're trying the Empty Worlds out, which is a fantastic mod. Um, and I always forget their name. But uh, it's, a, it's a great mod maker. They also made the, uh, the other mod there for uh, having our planetary system simulated and auction included is a bit uh, not my my kind of stuff but the empty worlds is really cool so i can only recommend everybody playing this empty worlds mod is amazing it's really nice good and we're trying an all achievement run as well and uh, what's their name something like phobos something like that something like that can i can i click my steam and check it out i think i could community workshop jim jim search workshop m t will that work i do not even know <laughs> but i clicked enter and nothing happens nope that is so sad. Let's go into the auction on included workshop then. Huh? Oh dear, this is so broken. This is so broken. Let's just click the links. Since Steam is a bit whack. But we know that from the Steam, right? Good. Our proxy should discuss in workshop. There we go. <laughs> Empty worlds. Here we go. Foleth. There you go. Foleth. What a good guy. Right? Now, what are we doing here? This is all uh, Niobe I'm taming. And let's have a sip of liquid water. My voice is cracking already. Hold on. Ah, my favorite. Good. Now, this is quite dangerous what we're doing here. Because there's a lot of hot obsidian lying around. And the idea is to uh, clean it up before it can flash into steam here. And uh, as soon as this guy is done with their active thingy there, whether they go idle or go dormant, I don't care. We're going to pop this uh, piece of igneous rock out <laughs> out of the, uh, of the map and uh, collect it up and analyze the volcano while it's idle or dormant. The periods are roughly the same. And um, then it's gonna spill, get collected up here slowly, and the contactless pump will take it out and shimmy it off into this heatsink. So the liquid is going to touch on the obsidian tile, and this obsidian tile, and that obsidian tile. This obsidian tile here is uh, just acting as a little bit of a, an extra buffer. But uh, everywhere here, we're going to suck out the heat into the temperature of plate, into this temperature of plate, into that temperature of plate, and into the liquid. So the heat is going to get solidified. That means uh, the piece of liquid inside of this mesh tile is going to solidify. It's going to freeze because it's so cold. Uh, and it's going to get pushed to the bottom left because there's no other room. Fat Cat! Fat Cat says auction included. Maybe you get some auction from good old Santa Claus if you're nice. All right, so that means no auction for me. <laughs> anyway, so this liquid is going to freeze and is going to get pushed into the bottom left because if you look at the surrounding tiles, every way is blocked off. There's no way for the thingy to go. So it's going to go into the heatsink and it's going to pour down. It's going to drop. Boop, but it's not going to pour because it's going to be solid. And it's going to drop down there. And uh, I don't know what happens then, to be to be fair. <laughs> the problem is I have brine liquid here. And if that brine evaporates into steam, it's going to leave salt. And if it's going to leave enough salt, uh, the salt is going to solidify. And my fantastic system here is going to break. 
and we cannot grab our niobium out and run it through the various debris chillers. It's a bit rough. And if I say various debris chillers, I mean one, right? This room here. And uh, there's a little bit of a uh, conveyor shut off. Checking out that it's not too hot. Hot. You can push out here. And then there is a second debris chiller here. And uh, they were just going to run through, not worry too much. And there's a third debris chiller here. This is the pre chill area where we're going to go down to about 100 degrees or so. And then there's a fourth chiller there. And <laughs> it's not convoluted at all. But uh, it is needed. This is Niobium. You don't mess around with that stuff. Actually, we're doing this. Hold on, this counts as a debris chiller as well. So it is the fifth one here. And um, this is when we're actually going to get the temperature that we want. And it's going to be uh, below 45 degrees. It's going to drop down there where we can grab it from here. Everything is very much reachable. That is nice. Good. We're building the contactless pump. And we're cleaning up the floor. And uh, then we can close this area off forever and ever. I mean, it's still going to be reachable because it's kind of my spleen here and the actual included. I want everything to be serviceable. Now, that's not realistic. This area here will not be serviceable. And we also have here a... the pipe is blocked. Good. So it does stop on its own. And that thing is disabled and the graphic is again not shown. Can I, can I make the graphics visible? Please? There's no chance. In fact, I says, did you have a nice PS5 days? Yes, I did have the nice PS5 day. And it, it was, uh, it was great. Like always. And tomorrow we're going to do it again. Because it's Christmas. It's going to be fantastic. Going to play some Glitchman on the hardcore mode. And, uh, of course, the, uh, uh FC24, which is a horrible game, but a very good simulation. And that's kind of the theme of the EA games. They're not very artsy, despite the title. Electronic Arts, there's no art there, it's strictly simulations. You're gonna have to make the game yourself. So if you play The Sims, y you make the game yourself, right? You're gonna say, ah, oh, today I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a werewolf pack and kill everybody on the... Or, no, that's not The Sims. We're going to make a werewolf pack. We're going to take over the place socially. <laughs> or if you play the FC24, you're going to say, oh, I'm going to do friendly a friendly match tournament with my buddies. Like, like that. Or you're going to be competitive and say, I'm just going to play champions. And I'm only going to play the squad battles if there is a reward. A, a worthy reward of my time. Right? Because there's always a reward. They want you to play constantly and they pretty much achieve it but uh yeah you get you gotta you gotta make up your own rules for your own game but the simulation is genius and wasn't there another thingy did they not make the uh, the city skylines again there is no game it's just a simulation and you do whatever you want and uh, that's the theme there on the electronic arts and uh, their big motto is it's in the game if you buy it extra EA Sports is in the game as a microtransaction. So, uh, yeah. That is that. And uh, there are people who defend this company and they say, oh, they, they buy the, the failing companies and, and the g genius minds. They, they can move on and keep doing what they're doing. But if they were so genius, why did they run the, their company into the ground? That's, that's <laughs> what I'm wondering. And then EA Sports buys the IP, and but let's not dwell on these on this evil stuff. Because uh, did they not have this this thing that uh, that Musk has as well in their company? So if it's crunch time, you're not going to get paid for working there. <laughs> it's, uh, and it's always crunch time, so yeah. it's a bit rough. If you're a talented programmer, just uh, go on welfare. Or something or or steal become become a crook <laughs> i don't know become a thug and, and rob people on the streets or do anything else but work for ea you're the problem 
not the consumer buying because the consumer will buy what you tell them to buy it's it's like that consumer is not at fault people go go online and they say the consumers they they make this possible and but the consumer is freaking stupid do you know consumers i know many consumers man man they're not smart they're not smart and they're not very uh, cons consequent consequential they're, they're not very straight in their in their actions they they just they just buy stuff they're being told to buy what the heck <laughs> the consumer is definitely not at fault it is uh, it is the competent people who are too lazy to fight for what they believe in and they're not many competent people they should unite and all these code monkeys at the big triple a companies they should say screw this I'm not gonna do it why should i for a paycheck what the hell just go live in the woods instead what the hell this is this is not progress you're you're the reason that we have cell phones which is not a good invention just uh, do a little bit of research it's not a good computer it's not a good phone it's not a good anything it's just everything at once it's not a good camera but but it is so high res have you seen the pictures it looks so great but imagine if it was a real camera on the same size it would be so much better no it's three devices in one and of course it's not going to be as good as three individual devices and just because you want to do everything at once the time you waste using this device the user input is so bad in the computer you have this but you go somewhere you want to go oh okay i can go now the the game doesn't let me go to my stuff all right here we go right you can you can do you, you can click here and then you type something in type in uh, fallout New Vegas Skillbook Locations. Bam, it's there. It's there. You have a Reddit thing, you have this and this. And if I click on the Reddit, I'm there. And I can actually read it. Look, wh what is this? Try to do the same thing on the phone. Try to do the same thing on the phone. And go here to the game facts now. This is crazy. I'm going to five websites in rapid succession. Try to do this on the phone. It takes 10 minutes to do this. What the hell? Take your phone right now and toss it out the window. You you live in the 10th floor, right? Of a high rise. Take your take your phone and throw it out. Hopefully you hit a person. Be a terrorist. No, don't be a terrorist and don't hit a person. But uh put it on the on the floor. Go to the tool shed outside in the backyard, grab a hammer, and then you go back to the phone on the phone and you smash, 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 bam, bam, bam. This is a garbage device. This is this is terrible. And all these code monkeys that actually know how to code, they work for all the big companies for a paycheck and they make this garbage happen. If you're a competent laborer, don't sell yourself out. I beg you. The poor consumer will buy the garbage you make. It is what it is. That is the reality of the situation. And this is my Christmas rant. And I'm done now. I wanna I wanna just enjoy the game. Please let me enjoy the game. <laughs> not gonna not gonna keep going here. Alright. This was this was terrible. For me. And for the world, because everything I said is true. It's just embarrassing what is going on. It's supposed to be progress. It was the same garbage over and over again. I feel like this one guy uh, who, who was a racist. I feel like the, this racist guy. Wait a minute. What's their name? HP Lovecraft. Yeah, that's their name. I feel like them. Because they, <laughs> they have very much the same, the same views. That, that there is no progress. It's always the same st stupid thing happening. There's people wasting resources... And there's people buying garbage and being complacent in the peace times and uh, doing what other people tell them to do and it never changes there's no progress doesn't matter the technology that is advancing it's, it's 
it's inconsequential really. And uh, true progress is less poverty, more research management, so we can keep on. I wanted to stop, but I cannot stop. I just keep on talking with this garbage. This is not a political channel. I just want to enjoy my game. Fekka says, Did you have a nice PS5 day? <laughs> Expected to answer yes. Charles answer EA sucks. All inventions suck. Everything sucks. Everyone is terrorists and monkeys. Hey, come on. No, that's not what I said. Inventions are great. The cell phone is a bad invention. That's all I say. The, the cell phone, there, there are some bad inventions, but not all of them suck. Most inventions are good. The thing is, if you have inventions, you're gonna have a progressive invention, right? You're gonna first you're gonna have the thing that solves the problem, right? Then you're gonna have a new version of the thing that solves the problem and is very slick and very efficient. And then the next step is what we don't have to do, but what we're doing. And that is the same invention made complicated again for consumers to be a consumer product and uh, to make money off and to regulate where the invention is being applied. So that is the three steps of inventions. And the first step is good, is very necessary for the second step. The second step is perfect because there, the, there you have the efficient thing. And then the third step is what makes it bad again and what is uh, limiting the progress of the human race. So that's how inventions work. And uh, not everybody is a terrorist, no. No, not everybody is a terrorist. But the code monkeys, they should really uh, try and be better people. Right? I blame them for not the consumers. The consumers are just stupid. They do whatever you tell them to do. Um, there is this guy who sold the garbage Apple products to everybody. And he's a genius at selling garbage. And what he tells you to buy, you're gonna buy, I promise. And most people watching this stream... Well, actually, people watching this stream are a little bit smarter than that. But most people in the world, most, most consumers, like 90%, they buy what you tell them to buy. It's just how it works. And this guy is a genius who sold the Apple stuff. And when Elon Musk's company was failing, he turned to this one guy and he said, Hey, I suck. Can you help me out? And then, and then they say, Yeah, sure. Just, uh, just cut me in. It's no problem. I like you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save your stupid electric car company. And any electric car that is bigger than a caddy for, you know, those golf caddies that, that drive around is a huge waste. Why would you do this? If you had a little bit of better resource ma resource management, you can you can use dead dinosaurs for the next three, four, five hundred years. But no, you don't have good resource management. You do intercontinental flights. Why would you do this? What a waste that is! And, and I tell you why why you would do this. There are people working for big companies, and uh, they need to uh, need to sit somewhere in a in the next big town that is a one hour flight away, then you just sit there and and think about something that makes other people buy things. That is the reason. So so you have garbage jobs that use up the good resources, they get paid very well. And uh, people who get these jobs only get these jobs because uh, of uh, nepotism. N nepotism? Nepotism? It's nepotism, right? That's, uh, they get the job because somebody else uh, is in a good position to give them the job. Because these jobs, like uh, like making ads, anybody can do them. Anybody can do them. There's some people who cannot do them. Most, mostly good people cannot do these jobs. But but bad, pe bad people have an easy time doing these jobs because they went through a troublesome life and they had to had to be creative to survive. So, of course, creativity is an easy thing for them to do. So, all these bad people go get the creative jobs that make other people do stupid things. And that's how research mismanagement happens. And, of course, they're glad. They can just go to the airport and hop into a plane 
and then they don't have to waste two hours getting to their job, but only one hour, right? But uh, why don't they live in that city where they work? So you don't need the inter... Uh, what is what is the inter-country flights? There's a word for this. The short, short-range flights, which waste a lot of kerosene. Is it called kerosene? Yeah, kerosene. And um, making that waste a lot of resources. You can you can have the petrol cars for the for the next thousand years if you would do a little bit of better better management. And you could have a lot of diesel cars. That could be great. Have you have you researched this? Why is biofuel not check this out? Why is biofuel not viable? And the reason is manufacturing process. Uh, more energy than a final project as a as a group fuels made renewables such as plants, coffee grow vegetable emits less carbon than fossil fuels. Yes. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for deal diesel. All right, diesel. Uh, plant diesel. Biofuel can't replace oil. <laughs> I should be playing the game. But uh, let's let's find find out about this. Straight vegetable oil is diesel. Food. It's not that. It's not called that. It's called something else. Good. Maybe this is it, actually. Good. So you can use this. But uh, in essence, why this is not viable is... The, the eastern countries, they use the wrong vegetable oil to make this. And that's why it hurts the environment. So if you, if you, do, if you do it right, then this is an alternative. But let me find, find about this. Why is biodiesel not used here? Why does biodiesel not used in automobile? What the hell is that? What the hell? It's not as widespread. It is bad. Biodiesel alternative. That's what I'm googling now. Good. I should be playing the game, to be honest. Why biodiesel... Uh, why biodiesel... Biodiesel alternative. Good. It should refuse data center. It's got to be a quick answer. Energy Information Administration. This is from from the government, right? It's one of the first biodiesel. The feedstocks can affect the physical body use. Yep. No other renewable diesel. Dum 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 dum. Well. This is what you use for your for your diesel engine. But the problem is, well, I researched this before. Mm, is it possible? Diesel versus a Jeep Wrangler, what the hell? And uh, the, the, the Southeastern country, uh, Southeast Asian countries, they make this from, from palm oil. And this is very bad. And, and, and soy and whatever. And that wrecks the environment. If you make this from from proper vegetable oil, University of Southern California, maybe they know. I better go to bed. I hope you have a great day, says Fat Kid. All right, you go to bed. The problem we have heard the fuzz of being consumed. Potential switch by is another benefit. Yes. What is biodiesel? Advantages. Uh, global attitudes. Future. Well, this is a nice article. So from the from the USC. So there you can find out about this if this interests you. But uh, the in the end, this is a fantastic alternative. You just have to write, have to use the right vegetable oil to make these. Good. Why is nobody coming here and mopping this up? Mm, they probably have their off time. Ah, oh, here's somebody working good. That is all right. This is too hot. Let's grab it. This is too hot. Let's grab it. Anything that is too hot. There is still something hot here. The grapefruit seed is hot. 
Hmm. I wonder if I can run a seed through the chiller. Probably. Seed? Uh, it, it ejected me. Rude. But the grub seed, yes. Since it's too hot, let's sweep it up. Good. We don't want any more hot here. This is hot. Let's just run it all through. 300 degrees. Good. Here as well. The thing is, they're gonna come here and they drop it intimately. It's, it's, it's really too bad. But we do have a plastic ladder, so maybe that works out well. Now, in the end. Good. Fekka says, I've been up all night. Take care. You have a good rest now. Fat cat. And then it's time for the... Uh, for Christmas night. Um, obsidian, 22 degrees is fine. Let's grab this all. And when we're done with this, we're gonna close that off. Oh! We idle again. And this is cleaned up. Good, so let's do this. We're gonna pop it. Save the game. Good. And then we're gonna make sure they research before they do anything else. Priorities. Where are my duplicants? Here they are. Researching up high, both of them. Grab this. Analyze. Good, we're gonna do this later. Good. They need to analyze this now. Priority on the construction is seven still. Let's make this all seven. Or maybe not that. Good. Now we're gonna analyze the volcano. This is of course needs to be cleaned up first. Alright. Analyze. And build. Good. So this is going to be... An, oh, there is another piece of rock. Alright, you want to build? But why don't you analyze? Maybe you cannot. Skills. Good. Field research. And field research. Alright. Oh, you dropped this hot down. No, it's 33 degrees, it's fine. Good. Is there an errand? Low priority, they say, but it's number one now. Good. So we're gonna research, and here... Low priority is number two. Perfect. Good. So this is going... Is there a current project on the first... Um, planetoid? Maybe. But it doesn't look like it. Hmm, not doing anything. <sighs> this problem is still not solved. The problem here is it's getting too warm all the time. Because the water coming in is at 9 degrees Celsius. We got an intermittent 6. We have some flower pots. We would need more in the end. It's growing somewhat. It's fine. The somnium synthesizer is working great now. Good. We have these farms ready to go. Let's put them in nominally. <gasps> no, but that work. How old is this critter? 68. Are they going to drop another egg? I doubt it. Doubt it. I have to tame them, and then I don't have a wild critter anymore. It's very sad. And then I put a tame in each and every one of them. Because they're gonna procreate, because... Oh, hey, though. I think the critter fountain uh, keeps tame critters alive without food. I think that's what it does. 
But yeah, whatever. This is all going nicely. Are we going to check out the other thing here instead? Um, what is the temperature? 66 degrees. Oil we stopped. We have enough. Good. We cannot take it out though. Mm. We don't need to take it out. Would be nice to have a have an oil source like that. I mean, we can run it and then overrun into a well. Something like that. Uncreative moron. <laughs> Good time to see you. Also, Chief Tina is raiding again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chief Tina. What's your duplicate doing, Chief Tina? So the other people ask, how are you doing? But I'm only interested in what Chief Tiner's duplicate is doing and how. Chief Tiner, let's find them. Almost there, the game glitches around a little bit, but here we are. Follow Cam. Ah, they're eating. Good. Nice eyebrow, Chief Tiner. And uh, you have the uh, you have the agent outfit, even though you're a constructor. But that's all right. Good to see you, Chief Tyler. Good to see you. Thank you, thank, thank you for the raid. An uncreative moron is going to get a duplicant. Do we have one free? Do we have a slot open? Uh, this doesn't look much like it. Ah, uh, we don't have a slot open. But we do have the notepad mod installed. And we could simply uh, do something like that. And you take a number. You take a number, uncreative moron. And that is the number one. Uncreative moron. Oops. And as soon as I get a duplicate, and I'm gonna colonize all the plant words here, and you're gonna get a duplicate. Uncreative moron, that's your name. Good. And now if you look at the notepad, there it says there. Let's go. Good. And if you look at the space area, we see there's still some planetoids I can colonize. Look at our colonies. This is our main colony on the empty worlds. I'm playing on the highest difficulty settings without any care packages because those care packages and therefore the filthy, 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 disgusting casual players, right? No, 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 no. Therefore the casual players and uh, this is very serious what we're doing here. That's why we keep it all in the background. While going on a rant about how uh, the modern world is uh, sucky. But no, let's not go back there. This was in the beginning of the stream. So again, everything is on the highest of good settings. We don't have any care packages. And we're playing on the Empty Worlds modded asteroid here. And if you click there in the option to have the teleporters, you're not going to get any teleporters. And you're not going to get a small asteroid either. You're going to get the big island cluster anyways. And instead, um, this is Uzani, this is another planet right? Instead, you're going to get uh, something like Lironi here. That is yet another planetoid with yet another printing part. So it's a bit glitchy, that mod. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. And uh, we colonize this place. There's nothing else to do for us here. And it's also an all achievement run, which I regret. Why would I do this? It's just a lot of work. But uh, we did the all achievement run on the beta planetoid. And beta is a fantastic mod. If you go over here to the Steam, um, if I can click it here and I show you on the display capture. And um, then you go to the uh, beta. As a, as a beta world gen by Bummins, right? And uh, <laughs> apparently somebody Ooh, somebody many diseases aggressive somebody made this even even worse right so this i can definitely recommend to play aiden maysell says do you mainly play auction included or do you play other games i'm a variety screen scr screamer screamer i play uh, currently the fallout new vegas i have a playthrough of the sims 4 uh, well not really i'm um, i pause this i put this on pause I play a lot of uh, card games, and on stream I play the Eternal card game. And um, if anybody wants me to play something, uh, has any suggestions, that's also good. I play a little bit of RimWorld, but it's not for me. I don't like this at all. Um, it's just terrible. 
honestly. But Aiden Maxwell, you're gonna get a duplicate. Let's put them here in the notepad. Jup. You take a number, Aiden. Take a number. Two it is. Aiden. Uh, with an E? Yes. Mesa. Good. And that is your name. Fantastic. But yeah, Auction Unincluded is definitely my main game. I have a complete playthrough with all achievements on the Beta Planetoid. On the highest difficult settings without any care packages. Chief Tyner, I said you gotta get to sleep. Good luck with the stream. Thank you, thank, thank you, Chief Tyner. Good to see you and thank you for the raid. It's fantastic. Big shout out. Shout out. And Chief Tyner. Not, not that it matters too much. The people you brought, they already follow you probably. Good. But anyways, there's a shout out. Good. And of course, I follow you already. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Now, on the auction included, uh, we're trying to tame this volcano here. It's an Iobum volcano. It is the highest energy output volcano in the game. So it burns at very hot to 3200 degrees, which is just a little bit below the tungsten volcanoes. But uh, the amount that comes out of this is just amazing. It gushes and gushes. So uh, and that's why we're we're doing here the uh, the little bit of a base in there. Good. And how come nobody brings this? Good. And somebody is checking this out. Another person should bring this. Oh, we still have this going on. Sure. Uh, let's do the other thingies first. See if the priority system works. This is priority 9. Let's make it 5. Let's make that priority 9. Now first they're going to check the priority of this manually used conveyor loader. And then they're going to check the priority of the debris lying around. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see if it works like that. Where is he going? Is he going back to breathe? Yeah, they're going to back to breathe here. There's a lot of polluted air. That's fine. And uh, we currently work on air. Right? Aiden says, That's hype. I've just started streaming and streaming auction not included. But a lot of other games, you just got to keep streaming to get a base. Oh, Aiden. I, pff, I'm the wrong person to give advice. Or am I? Because uh, my kind of thing is always know everything better than everybody else. That's That's my kind of thing. I don't know. It's, uh, it's it's a bit brutal. People uh, people go, oh, this guy, he knows everything, right? But uh, but I do. So I'm gonna give you advice. If you play a game and you stream it and you want to become a streamer, not not that I'm I'm a real streamer, I have a very small time. But if you want to do it, then you gotta offer something that is competent, right? If you stream, for example, stream a game uh, that you love. It's pretty good to just keep on talking and keep talking over it because people want to see the game that they love and they want to hear the comment. That's that's what the Twitch is for. So if you don't comment, that is, uh, that's already, mm, your gameplay must be very, very good if you don't comment over. And um, that works sometimes. I don't know if it works for the auction included, but if you play a competitive sports game, like for example, the FIFA, uh, formerly known FIFA, um, is now known as FC24, then you can be somebody like Anders Vergang, or whatever his name is, And Andres, Andres Vergang, I, I don't know, but he's he's a very good FIFA player, and now a very good FC24 player, I'm sure, and their gameplay is just phenomenal. They don't have to talk, and probably if they would talk, probably people would not watch. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that is the advice. And uh, yeah, of course, you got to keep streaming. There's a very general advice that says if you have a steady schedule, then that's good for streaming. That's definitely good for streaming. People people go like, ah, it's that time again. He's probably streaming and then boop, they're going to they're gonna tune in. Of course, it's like a radio show. And that's how I treat the Twitch TV. It's like a radio show. A lot of people just uh, come here and uh, tune in and don't even look at the stuff that I'm doing. Because there's no need, I comment over it, right? If you're an auction or included player, and I'm saying, oh, there is this Naomi Tamer, and 
this is how it looks like in this stage, then they might switch over, stop their gameplay and have a quick glance. But uh, that's how it works, probably. That's what I'm thinking. And uh, most of the time it's just listening to um, if something happens or if I tell a story or anything. So uh, your player base is just... Oh, your player base. Your viewer base is based on your gameplay, your commentary, and um, probably your schedule. I think these are the three uh, most important things. And uh, then something else. Mm, I think, you know, this is something you should focus on. And what I told another person uh, that wanted my advice, it's also good advice. Uh, this Twitch thingy, their Twitch TV, they're going to delete your video on demand files. They're going to delete all your VODs in, I don't know, two or three weeks. So it could be a good idea to uh, take that extra effort and put it on the YouTubes in an archive channel. And it's also what I have. You guys, if you want to check out my archives channel, it's Fiverr Jard Archives on YouTubes. And uh, there you can, can rewatch everything I did and uh, listen to my voice doing it. Um, good, but this is all probably uh, kind of lower quality than what you're seeing now, what you're hearing now. Because, yeah, I grow as a streamer. And that's what you should do, Aiden. Just grow as a streamer. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, you're going to get better. There is no two ways about this. If you keep practicing anything, you're going to get better at it. That's just how the world works. How, how the human progression works. Individual progression. If you want to learn something, it's research and practice. That's how you learn something. Not by going to a school. I don't know who said this ever. You have to go to a school to learn something. No, learning, that's not how it works. That's not how learning works. Learning is research and practice. That's what learning is. Research and practice, not a school. A school has nothing to do with learning. You go to a school to prove to other people that you learn something. It's not to learn something. If you go to a school, it's mostly wasted time. So if you go to a school, make sure to, to use that time uh, in, a, in an efficient manner. You gotta you gotta min max your time uh, management, right? If you go to, for example, if you go to a school, and the teacher sucks bad time, they're not entertaining, because that's what a teacher needs to be, entertaining. They they don't need to teach you something. You're gonna teach yourself in the end. So the teacher has to be entertaining. So most of the stuff that the teacher says, you're gonna forget. But if he's entertaining, you might not forget what he says. So that is then uh, their first... Th thank you, homie, says Aiden. Oh, that, that means I'm done with giving advice. That means they had enough of my babble. <laughs> it's all right. I'm not going to jab jabber on. I'm not going to keep yapping. It's enough. But anyways, research and practice. And then you're going to learn on what you need. And then you can go to a school and prove, prove to the world that you learned it. And uh, then they're going to subject you to many tests. And uh, then you're going to get the A grades. And then people say, wow, that's a good school. <laughs> no, they're going to say, yeah, this guy, I want to work for me or whatever. And um, <laughs> that's how you, can, how you become a streamer. And there's no streamer school. So, yeah, as proof, you don't need schools. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Schools might be useful. A little bit, but mostly, if you have average, average, um, did I say average? If you have average grades in school, uh, your time there was probably wasted. Gotta be honest with you guys. Good. Now, well, we're doing here the Niobe Volcano and find out when it erupts and it's kind of important. We're not getting scalded doing it. So, as soon as this thing wasn't active, it is active, but wasn't actively spewing out the Niobium, we went there. Uh, with the duplicate to analyze because this niobium volcanoes they have this special activity cycle uh, the idleness is just just is maybe almost as long as the dormant period uh, so you have a little bit of time to analyze this and then it's going to spurt 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 and there's going to be so much but uh, the mass of the niobium here the liquid niobium is going to average out which is fantastic um the only issue I might have is maybe this is going to solidify 
because it's going to exchange heat with the insulated tile here. Because there is a little bit of heat exchange. I'm scared, gotta be honest. Thermal, thermal conductivity, 0 0.02. And specific heat capacity, 0 0.2. But I think I did this before and it worked out fine. So the stuff is gonna spill out, it's gonna collect up here. And when it's a certain amount, I'm going to pump it out. Um, relatively often. As often as it spews out, we have to get the... So there's a green duration of 600 seconds maximum. And we're going to somehow do the math here and pump it all out. Um, the, the important thing here is not to pump it out like uh, 30 seconds and then 60 seconds not. Because then the pump is going to stutter and might take out only a little bit of niobium instead of a full blob. It's a bit risky. Because if it takes out only one key, that key of niobium might freeze here in the pipe and solidify out and make everything stuck and make everything break. But alright. We're going to see how this goes. Party 9. Don't tell me we're still putting a liquid in here. No, we don't. Good. All right. And we're taking out the solid niobium here. Never touching anything. This could have could have looked better. But first things first. Analyze the volcano. Um, sweep up everything here. Put it in the debris chiller. Good. And then keep on over the tamer. Good, the tamer is almost done, isn't it? This here should stay cool. We have a single steam turbine, uh, aqua tuner set up, and three steam turbines. Good. So this should immediately cool down to really nominal temperatures. Um. We have a thermal sensor here, connected up to what? Let's find out. To the door, that's right. We want this area to be hot. Um, if it's below, let's say... 150. Should we do something hotter? Nah. It's fine, let's do 150 first. Good. If it's above 150, I don't want to take any heat out of here. Now I want to take heat out of here. Good. Very nice. Building next three. So what was this alert? Don't know. But let's check out Uzuni while the people here work and clean up uh, the space. And the reason I clean up the space is I don't want any hot here. I want to be able to drop liquid here and it's not going to flash into something nasty and to uh, touch everything, especially the niobium. So that is why. And I think uh, this is very hot here. Don't like that at all. So we have this done. We have to get the data bank out. That's very important. I wonder if we if we run it through the thing here. No, we don't. That's good. Let's put the data bank in the rocket immediately. Hauling point, data bank, good, priority nine. Let's do it maybe right now. Maybe, on the other hand, since there's nothing else to do, I could have the sweep up command priority eight instead. So that means they're gonna get the get the data bank now, immediately. Here we go, the we is grabbing it, wonderful. And uh, then we can close this off forever. Um, but we open here. This is, there's no way of having this safe. If there is a gas here, we're going to be screwed. I would like to have a little bit of, an, of a barrier. Now, this is very hot. We could use petroleum, of course. Mm, I don't want to enter this area. What if I do a crazy, crazy liquid lock? Mm, 
Man, we have the Abyssalite collection here. If I do a liquid lock here. Mm. And then close this off. Hmm, closing this off here. Then running there. Really don't like that. This is 270 degrees. But if I make a liquid lock here from petroleum, it's gonna suck out the heat. Hmm. Yeah, these two weapons definitely have something to do now. It's gonna take this, and then the end thing gonna take that. Hmm. And this runs. I think this is a good idea. We're gonna have a big liquid lock here. Just to close off the whole machine. And what about there? And this all is gonna stay cool outside. Um... <laughs> Can I have an additional? Oh yeah, I, it, I can definitely have an additional electrolyzer and colonize this planetoid. What we're going to do about the hot stuff here? I think that's not a big deal. If we, we grab out all the resources there and the hot abyssalite, we can lay bare the magma. And have an igneous rock spike f coming from the top, and then we can we can make use of this, and we could definitely dig everything out here from there. Just keep this in. Good. Just take the resources. All right. Now let's go to Uzni, because this will take forever now. Cleaning up everything, but am I really done? I think I want to do this. Because we don't want to come here, but on the other hand... What if we need to come here? If we need to come here, it's going to be very bad. <coughs> uh, so we're not going to build in the lock just yet. Just going to clean up the planet one. What is the temperature here? A thousand degrees and it's given off its heat. Yep. This is because they're dropping off things here. They keep on dropping off the hot obsidian. Don't know why. This should be insulated here. What did it do? But we, we meant to run back and forth here. That's why I used the tile where the run speed is plus 50%. Mmm... We can replace some of these tiles. Good. And this we can close off. Let's replace some of these tiles and see how it looks. The material should get pushed out on top. So we don't have to go here. That's what I want to test out. Because then I can replace the whole thing. I dropped off the obsidian here. It's not too hot. It's going to take on the temperature there. It's good. All right, now to Uzani. Is there anything we want to do here? Yes, we want to build a steam turbine, just in case. From tungsten, of course. Just in case we need it here. So where is the liquid going to drop down? Leftish. Good. And the extra power. Is there a trans is there room for a transformer here? There's also room for a transformer. Power? Power transformer, a single transformer is good enough. Good, and that is going to connect up to the power spine. Alright. It's a little bit far. But we should have the materials. There's a lot of aluminum ore. I think that's what we were drilling from somewhere. Using the auto drill rocket for the diamond tip. Why, wow, yeah, this is long. Good, all the way down. All the way here. Connect it up. 
and connect that up. Good, there's just some extra power there. Should this steamify? And it should. It definitely should. It's already at 78.3 degrees Celsius. And there is heat leakage, sure. But it is just a little bit. And we could also put in a vacuum here if we wanted to. But these micrograms, I don't think they actually transfer heat. So that is good. Now all we need is a pipe and a vent. And uh, then this is good as well. Insulated liquid pipe. Igneous rock. Like so. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Then this is analyzed. This is analyzed. So good. Here we have a little bit of an accident. Let's mop it up. Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, if we mop this up, we mop up the brine there as well, and that is dangerous. Hmm, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try and put in 0.1 liquid just to get the mop action here next to that. I could just delete it. Isn't that the reasonable thing to do? Let's delete it. Good, with a help of turn. Good, and then deconstruct it. And then the brine can go into storage again. If we don't do this, then we're going to flood the planetoid with the brine again. Um, then the thing is, we could stop this actually, but I don't want to stop it. I, I know we have enough brine. There's definitely enough brine here. But I don't want to stop the brine production. Because the brine production is also temperature production. This is cold energy, 24 degrees Celsius about. So that is good for uh, cooling down all the steam here. All right. And build the tile and delete the thing. Priority seven on the current project, construction. And priority nine on deleting this. Is there anything else we're doing currently? Yes, we're irradiating the dusk camp. Let's have a sip of liquid water. Oops, I'm out. Damn it, but that's all right. Good, and since we're irradi irradiating these, we might as well irradiate everything there. Good. A natural sensitive. Put this there, this light away is in the way. That credit sensor is in the way, deconstruct. Good, build this all. I want to irradiate dust caps. Definitely. Let's check the radiation. Is it over 250? Yes, it is. Is it over 250? It is. So we might get good seeds from here. Hopefully, mutated seeds. All right, they work on this. Build priority is nine. Build something. Copy the settings here. And copy the settings there. Of course, now here nothing is reachable again. And that bottle empty is in the wrong space as well. Mm, how do we enter this now? I guess from here. Move this over there. Deconstruct that tile. And build a layer there. Deconstruct. And we're going to deconstruct buildings. All these ladders. Alright. And then we can reach everything here should we need to. Good. How's the liquid looking in this base? Uh, liquid is coming through constantly. Do we want this? Mm, mm, yes and no. Oh, let's leave it. Let's let it run constantly, is alright. Should we move over the liquid pump? Yeah, I don't know. Could move it to here. Deconstruct. Dum, dum, dum. Then we have to close this vent. Because we need to collect the liquid now. Just so that we have enough for the toilet all the time. 
we will mess around and uh, renovate the pumpage situation. Here is good. Right, and then there's some extra liquid here. We can empty out as well. Sweet, it's coming. Uh, deconstruct the sticking out. Signify. And connect it up to power as well. <laughs> Good. Very nice. Um, is there anything we want to do on Lironi? No. Our main colony is also looking great. We should take some tender love and care for the auto drillers. All cargo base for means this thing can land. Good. Gantry is in. Let's land it. <laughs> Are we still shooting? No. We're shooting no more plastic. Which is nice. How's our plastic production? Quite nominal. Good. Uh, look at the gas overlay here. Ooh, this is a lot of steam now. Sweet, so the top pump should not even be pumping that much. Hmm. Will this be stuck if this is not steam? Because I think I want this. Let's check this out. No, it's zippering in. It's zippering in. That makes it slow. Should have some automation that checks if there's steam there. Because it's now just taking steam, nothing else. <laughs> so the top pump does not need to run. For the moment. But I'm sure we're producing more carbon dioxide than we're pumping out. And that is because it's producing 500, it's pumping 500, but it's not always taking 500. Sometimes it's taking less, because sometimes it's grabbing some steam here by accident. Good, but let's just uh, keep on without this pump. And then in the end we're gonna see that we have too much carbon dioxide again. Probably. Right? Probably. I don't know. Um, anyways, this is all of our extra energy. It's looking nice. Natural gas is a lot now. Hmm, interesting. Good, whatever. Is alright. Now the conductive planetoid is the most interesting thing. Um, we're building this all. Going to do naphtha naphtha. I would love to do oil, but I don't have too much. So we're going to do naft and naft, like one kilo, one kilo. And then... How much until this spills? Petroleum. I would love to get the viscosity of the petroleum somewhere, from somewhere, like, like an almanac. But that's not possible. Don't know what the viscosity is. I think it's 799 grams. So we're going to do one key and see how it spills. And then what should happen. But it needs to be a little bit thicker. Just a few grams, right? Hmm. How much naphtha do we have, really? Crude oil, 900G. Oh, we do a little bit of crude oil. Let's say 500G and 500G naphtha. And then put the petroleum on top. I don't know. Is that a good idea? Who got scalded and how? Mm, my guess would be Uzni. Because we're building here something where, where it's hot. It's fine. How bad does it look? Duplicants are still alright. This is a big time brownout. Why? What are we using? This guy is interrupted freight of dark because we had a brownout. I want to use the Furvine plant mod, but I'm too scared because I had a crash because of that. Hmm. Uh, can't be helped. Do I have some extra energy always? 
Not really. Well, he's a little bit unrested now, that's fine. Good, maybe this is the problem. Mm, yeah. This is going to be hot again very soon. Because we stopped pouring in polluted water. Oh, this is looking perfect. Good, the begins are allowed in is alright. No need to worry. Then duplicates are working here. This is replaced and it pushed out the obsidian. So if I keep on replacing this, duplicates will be slow in delivering the stuff. Let's copy the settings here. Make these guys a lower priority. Good. And then they're gonna bring it here first. All the basalite that we collect. So we could have a second try in having a fast runway on top. That is not going to be hot. But they're gonna bring the stuff and then change their mind, drop it on top, and then it's gonna be hot again. That's gonna suck. Okay, what that means we're going to replace this all. Good. And then sweep it all up. And when we use the obsidian to build something like a marble tile here, it's going to be cold obsidian that we use just in case we drop it down on another tile. And then there's not going to be any heat exchange. Right. You pick up this obsidian, you bring it there. Um, 777 is the theme here. This is a lot of bisolite, that's fine. So let's build it up. As a current project. Good. Even more. Alright. And we're gonna dig out the rest as a current project, Party 7. Like a so. Good. Gonna grab the stuff, chill it down. Um, but build this up, of course. The tidying here doesn't seem to be very important to the duplicates. Yes, tidying is a very low priority. Duties, cleaning. Let's do tidying for one of the guys. Um, priorities. Which one? The stronger one? 22, 23? Both of them. Good, tidy this up. Uh, the build priority here is going to be 8. Good. So we tidy up the thing. All right. Hmm. And then when I run this, why is this hot? Why were you complaining, duplicate? Because you touched this obsidian? Probably. All right, so what is in there? 20 key of oxygen. We're not going to release this just yet. Um, good. Look at NAFTA. 10 key. Oh, we do have a bunch of NAFTA. So we... 10 key. That is good. Let's empty it out. Let's hope it's 5-5 five, five there. And then we're going to do 10 key of petroleum on top. Uh, two, ten, 2 kilograms of petroleum liquid on top of it. And a little bit is going to go here and a little bit is going to go there. 2 kilograms is 700, 700, 700. That might spill over though again. Hmm. Not a fan. And somehow, 10 key are not swapping over. That's a problem. Uh, and where is the rest of our naphtha? Zero. No, we have to mop it up again. Or, we do the oil here on, on the left side. 
500 key of oil. Good, <laughs> 500 key, I wish I had. Let's do 500 grams of oil. Liquid, crude oil. Good, enable auto drop, pregnant none. Number one, they're gonna bring it. And then we're gonna do the move to command, put it there and empty it out. This all is not reachable. We have a help tile here for later. Good. Th that is because I just want one tile here for the hydrant to, uh, to have only one place to go. It's gonna be hydrant auction is gonna swap, slosh back and forth. And the auction is going to uh, then get pushed to the top right. And the hydrant is gonna stay here. If I have two tiles there, then the hydrogen is going to go left. So only one tile here to let the gases sort themselves out in this hydra. Crude or move it to here. Good. But this is this is too much. This is. I don't want to waste all the nafta. It feels a little bit bad to have more liquid on top of another liquid. But let's not forget, this is very high density. Liquid is gonna be fine. Good, mop this up, priority 9. Current errand. And then we're gonna put on top 500G. Nav, this is 100G. Oh. 0.5 liquid naphtha. Right, enable our drop, enable our spill. Good, what about this crude oil 500G? We're going to empty out. Good. And then we should collect all the stuff somewhere else. Maybe here is good enough. Good, petroleum, well, petroleum, no, oh, petroleum sweep only, everything sweep only. Good, sweep only, I'm gonna sweep only the naphtha. And we're going to sweep all liquid then. Going to sweep only the petroleum, we're gonna sweep only the crude oil. Alright, so this is looking now as expected. Good, we're storing the auction here still. Now we're gonna drop down the two kilos. Will it be too much? 700 is going to stay in one spot. 800 is going to spill over. I don't want it to spill over too much to the right side. Uh, so 1.4 kilos, let's see if that is good enough. 1.4 kilos of liquid petroleum and see where it goes. In the end, it's gonna push here anyhow, and it's probably gonna spill over a little bit while the gases are uh, sorting some themselves out. That's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. In a lot of drop, Enable auto spill. Good. For the liquid petroleum. Save the game just in case something unexpected happens, but then we're just gonna mop it up again, right? But normally it should it should be it should be good. We will have petroleum here. We have petroleum there. Look at the overlay. Whether is this the naft and ah oh, that's why. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Something unexpected is going to happen. The nafta got pushed out by the oil. Why the heck did that happen? This is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So we're just gonna have oil. For the millionth time. Mop this up. Good. Crude oil and uh, two things we're gonna have. 
either nav to include all? No. Either crude oil and nafta, or we're gonna have crude oil and petroleum. Well, we could have nafta and petroleum. But you're dropping the nafta, it was 10 kilos just being stuck there. Which is interesting. Probably gonna have to use the crude oil then. But just 500 key? G? Mm, let's see what happens. 500 G is not much. Could add another 500 G, but 500 G is what I have. <sighs> it's gonna be alright. And then again, the 1.4 on top. Good liquid. Turn on 1.4. Uh, enable auto spill. Not going to enable the auto drop. I don't know when they're going to empty this out. Hopefully now. Good. Then we can bring the stuff. Petroleum is in. What are you complaining about? They say this is hot, but it's not that hot. Good. 1.4 key. Let's remove it. Now we have the result that we wanted. But I really want more oil. Maybe I'm gonna come back here. 125? G of crude oil? And here? 375 G of crude oil. Well, whatever. Crude oil is strong. It's gonna work out nicely. I promise. <sighs> and then... Hmm... Release the auction and run this thing. Good. Liquid is going to come in here. But we cannot build. Good. Because this is not clean yet. Let's clean it up. And then we can build the pipes from obsidian that is not too hot. We take, uh, take obsidian that is hot. Uh, these jump locks are going to break. We don't want that. So, uh, the stuff is going in here. <coughs> uh, what I could do is restrict the duplicates to the inside here. Force them to use the materials there that are cold. 9.6 tons of rock, 7.4 tons of obsidian. Hmm. They're not gonna go down here and take this. If they build, they're gonna take this to build there. Maybe. Hmm. This is scary stuff. What is the priority on the sweep here? Let's do it in line. I want this to be done. Good. Power needs to go there. And we're gonna put in the automation already. Good. Add my sensor. From copper, we have that stuff for some reason. Here and there. Good. Connect up here. Connect up there. It's gonna go another pump. And that auction is gonna get pumped. Hmm. Pumped out where? Gonna run this through here, probably. Where it's reasonable. Yes. We can build this already. Insulated gas pipe from obsidian. Run it through. Let's not forget there's gonna be another pipe. But it's fine. Run it through and then on the left or on the right? side on the left side run completely through here and in the end into the rocket good now i wish they would be using the uh, the obsidian from down here instead of that obsidian there 
But it's 7.4 tons. <sighs> How much cleaning up is here to do? 900 key, this is 200 key, this is 800 key, we're almost done. And they dropped it down. Genius. Hmm. What if we put in a debris collector? We have to cool it down. This all is going to be auction in the end, but that is very far off. So the uh, the the thing here is not going to get cooled down for a long while. Uh, let's keep it on the menu for a moment. Going to keep tossing stuff down. It's all right. Somebody's sleeping. How's the auction here? Not breathable. Okay, very thin. It's all right. Temperature is cool. This thing is running. Good. Are we building in high priority? This should be seven. It is. So cleaning up at eight priority. Tidying up. Is this the errand? Storing, which is also good. Storing is more important. We're going to grab everything. That is hot. How much is there? We're almost done. Oh, they're going the wonkered out way. Deconstruct this building. There's a priority nine. So they should be doing this before they tidy up. Are they the not punk W44? They like tidying. Hmm. This is quite cool. If we were to corner build. We could have a marble runway here. Oh, that could be fantastic. Dun, 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 dun. Let's let's work on this. Better better late than never. Good. That is the idea, and again this is very hot. So there is probably going to be a little bit problematic. But let's work on this already. Good. Hmm. Should I make the marble runway all the way? Why not? Good. This is looking great. And they're going to use the materials hopefully that are here. So there's then less running back and forth. 11.2 tons of obsidian. That's why. Good. Priority storing. Let's give you the building again. Good. So that we built this first. Looking good. I wish there was another project. Do I though? No. Oh, this is accumulating again. Deconstruct this tower. Alright, we don't have power. This is a power out. Hmm, that's fine. A little bit of a power outage here. No problem. It's early morning. Yeah, the solar panels are working hard. To provide the whole colony with power. Yep, we're out again. 23,000 spinning growth for rose for nut. Fried mushroom is gonna be fine. Uh, no seed available. Let's make one available. Good. This is great. When are they doing it? Unreachable. No, that's just for the chef. Good. The other duplicates are going to do it. Let's do it right now, though. I want this liquid out. Good. Building the walkway. Mm -hmm. 45 degrees deconstruct. Nice. Check the temperature. Sweet. All the hot stuff here we're going to take out as well. Mm, this is hard to reach. 
good. Dun, 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 dun. This is very sweet. No. Here we're almost done. With a planetoid. All that is left is kill off the duplicates. <laughs> Don't worry too much about it. This is for the job suitability in the end. So we're gonna come back to here. At the end of the run. Um, and intimately to check if everything is going smoothly. Right. How come they're not doing this? Errands? Number one. Number one on the beach chair, though. So much for number one. Good. Then as a current project, this all needs to be plastic. So run here very fast. Good. And liquid is spilling again. Good. Do -do -do. Ah, building the marble tile. Z tiles. Good. Priority nine on the marble tile walkway. So we go back and forth here very fast. Should have done this a bit sooner, maybe. What is the temperature of this? 22 degrees. No need to worry. Good. I wonder when the first Naomi is going to spill out. But uh, the game tells me. Idle erupts in 5.3 cycles. Then we're going to have the first Naomi in liquid form. So we have a little bit of time here. Good. This average flow rate should be 1G. Good. We're going to prime this to Natha. And we should prime this before this erupts, right? In five cycles. We could prime it now. And turn off the pump. Mm, is there something hot here? No. Let's prime it. Um, Natha. Uh, how much? Will it get deleted again? Probably not. We only need a little bit. Let's do a nominal one key of liquid Natha. It's, cra it's crazy that 10 key were in one spot here. Is it because there's another wall tile here? Because normally 7 key is the maximum. 8 key will spill over. But whatever. It's fine. One key of Natha is all we need here. Look at Natha. Narrow drop and it will spill pretty nine. Good, and this is very dangerous to save the game. Because if they change the mind on the ladder and drop it down, and then Nafta is taking on the temperature of the debris there, which it should not. But uh maybe through the through the basalite here. I don't know. If it touches something hot, like like these marble tiles, but they're only 300 degrees. Something happens if it flashes. And we're gonna have gases here everywhere. Well, the one key of Nafta in gas form. It's gonna be here forever. So let's just take great care here while we do this. Good, it drops down. Whoop, and it's there now in the spot. It's gonna get pumped. It's gonna get pumped around. Why is this not... This is one key. What's your issue, game? Should be 1,000... It shouldn't be 1,000 anything. It's 1,000 G. So here says 1 G per second. Why is this not working? I think because the duplicate did not come to toggle this. Send a duplicate to toggle this. And stuff is gonna drop down the rest. We can turn off the pump. Well, maybe we need to turn it on to keep on pumping. To get every pipe segment full of 1G. Maybe. Good errands? No errand. This is now 1G and there's a little bit of nafta there. Is this 1,000 micrograms? Yes. It's milligrams, isn't it? Good. 
Good, let's pump out more. Good. Just gonna fill this up now. Good. Mm. To fill it up quickly, you could do something like this. And then it's quickly filled up. And then we can collect it, connect it again. Good. And stop the pumpage madness. Because that is to take out the niobium. And we don't need it now. Good. Timer sensor is configured to always green. For the moment. So what is the average output? One key per second. Good. We don't know how much we take out <laughs> with this contactless pump. Uh, we would have to... Um, check out how much this is. We, we're going to run this for 600 seconds. And we can reset this. Reset timer. Um, run this for 600 seconds. And uh, then we're going to know how much is going to be taken out in a cycle. And then we're going to divide this by 600 seconds. Now, why don't you just do one second? Then you know what you're going to take one second. No, that's not how it works. The pump is going to pump different types of liquids. And there's no telling how much it's going to take out in a second. If it runs only one second at a time. Hmm. One key per second. Actually, we might try this. I'm gonna run it one key per second, so if it if it takes out six key at a time, running one second, but I doubt this is gonna happen. It's gonna switch up every time, right? It's gonna switch up. Sometimes eight, sometimes six kilos per pump, depending on where the NAFTA is or whatever. No. If it takes out eight, and I run this one second green and seven seconds a red, then we're gonna have one key per second. But yeah, that is all we're sure thinking. It's gonna take a little bit of nap and that's gonna freeze, probably. Well, I'm gonna definitely experiment with this a lot. It's gonna be great, great fun. You can suck this insulated tile. Gonna keep going here. Good, but I do want to experiment with the with the electrolyzer as well. So we're done cleaning this up. Cleaning that up is a little bit of work. How is the temperature here? Nominal. These guys quite hot. Quite hot. And they're dropping down the hot stuff here. Let's clean this up. Stop the mats here. Then we're gonna stop tidying up. And instead... Build the electrolyzer setup. That's a good plan. Because I'm hoping they're going to take the cold obsidian over the hot obsidian down here, which is so far away. Who knows if that's going to work. Alright. Picking up igneous rock. Building is a priority. Tiding is priority 8. So if I make this prime... Good. I'm going to do a priority 9 building of pipes now and see if it works. Right, let's go to the plumbing. Insulate liquid pipe. We're going to paint it in first, then save the game. Mm. This is insulated. We don't need to insulate it. Let's save the game. And then make it priority 9. Good. Can we run through here? Should we run through there? Why not? Because it's hot obsidian they take, but they, they're not going to take up hot obsidian. 
Definitely not gonna have to take hot obsidian. Because it's gonna go here. And then we're running straight down. Into that thing. Good, liquid bridge. Right. We don't have power. But we never completed this. Mm, prioritize that build. Good, before we build this stuff. Waiting delivery errands. No errand. Because we have other things to do, that's fair. Good, what's the priority on this side? Oh, you dropped down odd stuff here again. 600 degrees. Man, oh man. Stupid depends. There's a mod where they never drop down items. <laughs> That's kind of cheating. But I can understand if somebody installs this. I'm not going to install this. Because I'm trying achievements runs and highest difficulty runs. I have quality of life mods and mods that make the game harder, not easier. So that is the idea. You could argue the hauling point is a cheap mod. But man oh man. It's not really. <laughs> Good. This is all getting done. Where did they take where where did they have this obsidian from? Mm, too late. Cannot tell. 40 degrees is good. They're gonna go breathe. And then we're gonna find out where the obsidian is coming from building this. Dun -dun. If they take this copper, which is hot, it might flash when they bring it through here. Uh, it's not great pine. Save the game. Make a pipe. Gold. Now oh, this is for that. Hmm. Let's see if they're gonna take the copper. If they do, I'm gonna save the game. Oh, the lag now. They change their mind? Where are they going back and forth? Definitely gonna babysit here. If they take the copper and there's a flash of the, the liquid lock here, it's gonna be very bad. They're gonna take the copper. 75 key. Going to save the game. Good. It's gonna sit here in liquid as well. But it's only 75 key. We're going to resist. The liquid is heating up immediately. And cooling down immediately. Well, the electrolyzer can take a lot of heat as well. Soggy feed. Patrolman at 40C is good. So they're building this without a flashing the petroleum into solid gas. Yes. Nice. Good. So only go if you're above that pressure. So that is now an on and off switch, basically. Uh, we can configure this later. But the on and off switch is good. We can now connect it up to power and pour in some liquid as well. Good. The desalinator is waiting for an input. And that is going to come from here. And the output of the sort, output of the sort, cleaned is here. We can reverse the bridge thanks to Knost and connect this up. Good. Now all the salty brine is going to go into the desalinator, and the desalinator is going into the electrolyzer. We're going to produce a lot of uh, oxygen, and that is fantastic. Now this is not an open electrolyzer, but that's fine. We should have enough power on this planetoid to run two pumps. Let's not be stingy. Could do a secondary here that is open. 
and build a whole base there. I think that's a nice idea. And I think that's gonna happen. Good, and we're still chilling debris, which is nice to see. Good. So let's try and, and get this done. Save the game again. And prioritize the pipe building. And they're gonna take obsidian, and that obsidian is hopefully not going to be too hot. Good, resume the game. Priority nine on the construction. Whoop and whoop and whoop. Everything. Good. So that thing can go when we want it to go. <clears throat> As for the oxygen. I'm gonna make this afterwards. Same priority as building. Uh, same priority as tidying. It's priority H tidying up here. Let's make this a seven. So we're gonna build this definitely. Pipe is being built. Awaiting delivery. Obsidian. This is the important thing. If you don't deliver the cold obsidian, this liquid lock will break. We don't want this to happen. So we don't have infinite crude oil in here. We have infinite crude oil, just not on this planet, right? Good. Are they gonna take it from here? This is very nice. It's nice and cool obsidian. Good. Contents none, the last piece. That is reachable here. Contents. 34 degrees. Beautiful. Beautiful. They're gonna take it. And put it there. Nice. Grab the stuff. Hmm. Connection wire. Take this all. Probably gonna continue this little project here. But electrolyzer first. Good. Now is there anything else I need here? I don't think so. I can pop this already. Have auction in here. But then the duplicate is going to breathe here. I don't want this. I don't want them to breathe here until I'm done with everything. I really dislike having carbon, carbon dioxide here. Um... I could also do a little bit of filter there to let the carbon dioxide out. But right below the exhaust, no. Could have a carbon dioxide filter here before the intake. Somewhere where there is room. Hmm. Don't know. Or we can just have a little bit of carbon dioxide here. It never hurt anybody. Yeah. It's fine. Good, that's gonna take out the carbon dioxide. When they go breathe here, they're allowed. It will not break anything. That is the important thing. Good, here we have our carbon dioxide pit for the base. Should not work too much. It is now always green because we have auction here. Crazy. But that is what is happening. Hmm. There's too much polluted oxygen. We're going to delete oxygen as well. But so far the system is working nicely. Uh, we could get the auction into the base first before we get it into the rocket actually a good idea. That means self-sufficient oxygen. I like. What was this calling? I hope nothing important. Cancel. Good. That's not convoluted at all. Just gonna run around here, it's fine. Uh, is there a better way? 
do something like this. For less convolution. Deconstruct. But what if we need this here to externally bring oxygen? We don't want this. We definitely don't want this. Good. Instantly turn obsidian again. We're gonna run through and out. That's better. Alright, for constant auction delivery. Dun, dun, dun. Good, this is gonna get built. Priority 7 H. Let's make it an H. Alright, do I have enough obsidian here? 20 tons. Good. Then I was gonna go all the way down here to grab the hot obsidian mess with it. Maybe they're gonna go here and grab it. But unlucky. Maybe. Good. More copper ore. Threatening to flash. But didn't it did not flash before and it will not flash now. And it did flash. Ah, oh, why did I not save my game? Why did I not save my game? Where was the last save? Load. 11.31? 11.30? It's good. Yep. That's exactly what I thought would happen. And it did happen. Oh, that's fine. Start of the game. I was running through the chiller first. So sick of it. Got cleaning up first, I mean you can cancel the cleaning up order down there. That's better. Now I don't know what we built. I don't know what we have to put in again. In terms of duplicate errands. Work orders. But it's gonna be fine. Let's load it up. Come on game. Now it's gonna load up fast if you have fast graphics. Graphics card. That is, that is really happening. I think because I always hear my graphic card turn on wearing, and we have a lot of stuff in. This should take longer, but I have a good graphics card now. The rest of the game is uh, is just CPU work, a single core CPU work. Good. Um, don't tidy this up. And tidy up priority no. Priority construction eight. Good. That means I should grab this copper and bring it there before they do the rest. And this copper. Good. So what did we do? Uh, we deconstruct the saw. Good, and we replace those with obsidian. Priority uh, 8 is good now. Insulated, yes. Now, oh, what am I doing? Come on, game, glitch me in. Mm. Bum, bum. This is how it's gonna look. Picking up obsidian from here now, are you? That is very hot. Hmm. This was the last piece, right? Good. The living ignis rock, nice. We have 75. I know you want to build. Why not bring this copper? Good, go breathe. Dun, dun. Priority 9, maybe? No. Weird. Building or supplying. Dun, 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 dun. 
If I were to release this auction, I think that would help. I could bring even hot stuff here. Because it would touch the petroleum and it would not heat up so fast. Even if there were 75 key of copper they dropped down. They just stand there and build 5 key. 5 key flash, that's damn it. Brutal. Alright. Is there anything else? What is Uzuni doing? Water level is going down again. I like. Uh, this is not insulated. It's insulated. Good. It's exchanging heat here all the time. Damn it. Mm, completely forgot about this. Uh, this is a straight shot. Let's mop up the liquid. So we're not getting a soggy feed here as well. Check the liquid overlay. If duplicants are wrecking themselves. Mm, no, it's fine. Good, mushrooms are growing. That's nice to see. Here we're going to drop in puddled water. That we're mopping up. Good, no pending deliveries. That's nice. Did we take the copper? Still not. Oh, maybe it's not in here, huh? Huh. That's fine. Copper and gold as well. Is done. Gold is done. Minor radiation sickness now. Hmm. Why? Are we coming here? No. It's a bit weird. Hmm. This is a lot of roof, and yet we get the minor radiation things. Or oh, because we're in the inside a rocket all the time. Uh, let's check out if we have pills. Basic red pill, 350 units was still good. It's nice. Maybe I should produce more pills. Use some coal. Do have a bunch of coal here? Uh, 20, 30 tons. Uh, 230 tons. Scalding? On Blasenvoy? Yes, that's fine. That's alright. Build this up, no more heat exchange. Power transformer is now flooded. Uh, that is no big deal. Once there's a steam, it's not going to be flooded anymore. And then, only then, we're going to produce power. And only then the power transformer is needed. Very nice. Good period of the obsidian. This is built. This is gonna get built. The copper is gone. The copper is cool. Right. Let's cool down this debris. And build up the rest. Looking good. Dum dum dum. This doesn't have power and where is my liquid? What am I missing here? Pipe is blocked. Oh, we need a little bit more pipe. 39. Good. And then the pipe will not be blocked. And we can produce oxygen in this colony. Good. And yes, they're gonna breathe here. Um, should I build a door there as well? Maybe let's remove this. Build a door from gold amalgam. That looks nice. Let's make it green. Good. Could also automate it. Oops, this is all here above this all. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Let's clean up the space. And this all. Even though it's not hot. Oh, 260 is hot. Let's clean it up. Door is being built. Once everything else is built, we're not going to be allowed in. Should do automation in an open door. 
for quick access. I'm not gonna come here at all. Ever again. Don't need quick access. I think that's too much. Just need to prevent them from going here brain. Right, built everything up. But if I release this, oh, I put it in the wrong place. I wanna build a, pipe, uh, a pump on top. Good, copy settings. And disable auto spill, remove. And enable auto spill. Good. Errands. No party and number one. Good, then we can build another gold amalgam ga gas pump. This is not going to overheat in the end. Should we not use a different material? Like steel. Let's not be stingy. Good, deconstruct. And how are we going to cool this down? I think this is, this is running a bit wonker. Um, sure. Is all right, kind of. Ugh, renovating this now. Mm. Let's empty the pipe. Glitch me in game. This was a bit much. Going to empty the pipe, and we're going to redo the pipe, and it is going to be a cooling loop instead. Gonna run straight and snake through. Good gold. Do we have gold? No, but we have steel. Could use the copper. That is now cooled down. How much copper is this? Not enough. This is steel. It's better cooling loop anyhow. Now what we could do is just leave this in nominally, because uh, here the auction is being produced. Yeah, let's not do too much. It's fine. This goes in, and this is connected up, and then that is absolutely sufficient. Good. Cooling down everything. The second pump is not going to get much cooling you know, is it? But I don't think that's a big deal. <laughs> Bothers me a little bit, can be honest. Alright, steel gas pump here. And then connect up. And this. Call it good. And the produced auction is gonna get cooled down by the liquid coming through and what temperature is this at? 29 degrees. Should be normal. If not, the cooling loop is right here. We can extend this. Oh, don't wanna. Let's see if this will heat up or not. Probably not. Anything else? This is here. Uh, cleaning up the rest of the space. This idle erupts in 2.6. Good, we're ready for our experiment. Let's make it completely red. And we're gonna start the experiment like so. This is going to have power. And then we're gonna do this. Whoop. And reset. Then it's gonna run for 600 seconds. And we're gonna find out how much this is. What a genius plan. <laughs> I hope. Good. Now the punk W44 is coming, grabbing the stuff. How much is this? 320 key. Man, that's a big dropping down here. At least it's not hot. That's good. Dun, 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 dun. We're almost done for a Christmas session. Um, grabbing the stuff, bringing it out. 
There's no more cleaning up to do. So for these pieces, which have nowhere to go, let's leave it in. This we can clean up. Good. Or we can clean up later. <laughs> it's fine. I don't want to build this all. Right, nobody builds anything. Party age, good. Cleaning up is more important. But we should be done. What is this? Salt. Wolframite. Right, let's grab it all. Salt. And wolframite. Oh yeah, you dropped the stone. Sure. Sure you dropped the stone. Good. Mm, cannot cook up things yet. One duplicate is sleeping and the other duplicate is cleaning up the space and then building hopefully. Good. It's hot in here, wait, what? 40 degrees. 40 degrees is not hot. Here's diamond. We can uh, check out debris, debris chill stage number two. Let's do it. Diamond. They grab it. They put it into the thing. The thing is running it where? Diamond is coming through. 40 degrees. Good. This is going to exchange heat here. Which is fair. And this is going to be steam in the end. Hmm. It's a bit rough, honestly. Steel. This is hot. Sitting in a vacuum. This is going to be hot. Oh yeah, it's going to exchange heat with the door. And the door is going to exchange heat with the window tile. It's going to flash this liquid here real, real quick. Good. The only thing is the salt might solidify into chunks. Hopefully not. Good, this is a lot of diamond getting shipped out. Is a uh, test run for the debris chiller. Good, it is at nominal temperature, so it may leave. The temperature is below 250 degrees Celsius. If it's 250 degrees Celsius, it's just going to sit here and get deleted. Heat-wise, producing some power. Oh, the power production is connected up? Yes. Good. Now, um, debris chilling stage number three is over here in this steam chamber. It's coming in at 250. Good. So it's going to exchange heat here for a little while at least. And then it's going to be at about, I don't know, 100 something degrees. Going into the chiller here. Now it has stopped because we're too hot here. No problem. Debris chiller stage number, this is then 5 because here is 4. 5 is chilling it down to nominal temperatures. So all we did now is heat up the diamond. Instead of chilling it down because it wasn't hot in the first place. But that's alright, for a test run we're good. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stages of chilling the debris. It was rough. <laughs> did we do too much? No, because we needed this preliminary debris chiller for all the hot stuff here. Before we were... Yeah. Before we were taming the Niogum, they were sitting in something hot now. Did they go inside of here? Maybe. Are they grabbing the hot obsidian out of there? Mm, don't know. And dropping it down, being sick. Seal them up. For a moment. The other duplicate can build the rest. Alright, but that should be it uh, for the Christmas stream. It's Christmas Eve. Hope you all have a nice day, a nice night, and nice holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks for chiming in. 
I'm going to see you next time. Have a good day and a good night.